Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for May 19th. May 19th is the 139th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 140th in leap years, with 226 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is arrant, A-R-R-A-N-T. Arrant is an adjective that means complete or thorough. Arrant, as a word, has a story. <laughs> As is true with many other words, it's a word whose spelling and meaning has morphed over time. It started out as a variant of the word errant, which means wandering. Errant means wandering. Errant was used as a word to mean wandering or vagrant, such as an errant thief or an errant knave. Over time, the word came to be taken as an intensifier so that an errant fool was no longer a vagrant fool, but a complete fool. Isn't it interesting how our language morphs and adapts? <laughs> errant, like its cousins errant and errand, come to us through French, originally from Indo-European. Earliest documented use of errant is 1386. And with that, let's get started in the year 1499, when 13-year-old Catherine of Aragon was married by proxy to 12-year-old Arthur, Prince of Wales. A proxy wedding or proxy marriage is being united that the individuals being united are not physically present with each other, usually being represented instead by other persons. Of course, this was an arranged marriage, arranged when she was only three years old. He was not quite three. They did take up residence in the same house together, but unfortunately, Arthur died six months later of an unknown ailment. And even though they were living in the same house, Catherine insisted they had not consummated the marriage, and this qualified her to marry again. And she ended up as the first wife of that dreadful, tacky Henry VIII, whom I have mentioned before. This item isn't about Henry, though. It's about Catherine and Arthur being married by proxy on May 19th, 1499. In a somewhat related matter, it was on this day in 1536 that Henry VIII's second wife, and Boleyn was beheaded for adultery, treason, and incest. Now, we've talked about this before, so I will not belabor my thoughts on it here at this time. And on May 19, 1568, Queen Elizabeth I of England ordered the arrest of Mary, Queen of Scots. A lot of cloak and dagger in those centuries of royalty. This is the birthday of American businessman and philanthropist Johns Hopkins, born May 19, 1795. If that name seems familiar to you, it may be that you've heard of such institutions as Johns Hopkins Hospital or University or School of Nursing or Medical School Johns Hopkins. These schools were named after their benefactor. He was one of 11 children back when families were bigger and when he was 17, he left the farm and went to town to work for his uncle. Johns and his cousin Elizabeth fell in love, but they were first cousins and Quakers, and there was a strong taboo against first cousin marriages among the Quakers. Interesting to note that neither of them ever married. They couldn't marry each other. They didn't marry anybody else either. He bequeathed a home to her where she lived until her death in 1889. He was an astute businessman and made good investments. And the result of that was that when he wrote his will, he was able to set aside $7 million to build the aforementioned institutes. And bear in mind that he was born in 1795, so this will have been in the 1800s. $7 million went a bit further than, than it might now, although it's nothing to sneeze at now. Johns Hopkins lived to the age of 78. Napoleon Bonaparte founded the Legion of Honor on May 19, 1802. 
Parks Canada, the world's first national park service, was established as the Dominion Parks Branch under the Department of the Interior on May 19, 1911. On May 19, 1921, the United States Congress passed the Emergency Quota Act, establishing national quotas on immigration. This is the birthday of American minister and activist Malcolm X, born May 19, 1925. He has an interesting biography. Ultimately, he was assassinated by members of the Nation of Islam after Malcolm became disillusioned with the Nation of Islam and its leader, Elijah Muhammad, and while remaining Muslim, took another path. We don't have to talk about the exact nature of that disillusionment right now. It's easy enough to look up, but yep, they knocked him off and it was ugly. Malcolm was 39. T.E. Lawrence, more popularly known as Lawrence of Arabia, did things that no one would have thought possible during World War I. He experienced lots of high adventure in his military career and described it all vividly and in great detail. He survived all that to die in a motorcycle crash on a little English country lane on May 19, 1935. He was 46. This is the birthday of American director, producer, and screenwriter Nora Ephron, born May 19, 1941. She's known for such movies as When Harry Met Sally and Sleepless in Seattle, for example. She lived to the age of 71. This is the birthday of English singer-songwriter and guitarist Pete Townsend of The Who born May 19th, 1945. Well, on May 19th, 1961, Venera 1 became the first man-made object to fly by another planet when it passed Venus. And I'm not sure exactly how they knew that exactly because the probe had lost contact with Earth about a month earlier and wasn't sending back any data, but there you go. Ooh, it was on May 19, 1962, when there was a birthday salute to U.S. President John F. Kennedy at Madison Square Garden in New York City, featuring the famous, or perhaps infamous, sultry performance of Marilyn Monroe's rendition of Happy Birthday. Interesting to note that the MC introduced her as the late Marilyn Monroe. In fact, she was not alive three months later but I'm sure we'll talk about that when it comes around on the calendar. On May 19, 1963, the New York Post Sunday Magazine published Martin Luther King's letter from Birmingham Jail. This was an open letter wherein he defended the strategy of nonviolent resistance to racism. He said in this letter that people have a moral responsibility to break unjust laws and to take direct action rather than waiting potentially forever for justice to come through the courts. And I think that's gonna do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that is called, no really. <laughs> you can also find me on Rumble, Parlor, BitChute, and Gitter. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.